What's going on guys? I was bored with a couple friends, scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, one thing led to another, and we bought a golf cart. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, so um, we bought a golf cart. We got this thing for $1,650. It's kind of raggedy, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this boy up and uh, it's gonna look really, really good once we're done. I'm gonna give you guys a full like walk around, then we're gonna go over our plan. All right, so this is a 1984 golf cart. So this thing is really old, but it has a lot of new stuff. So I'm gonna start with the uh, batteries and the coils in the engine. It's an electric motor. This is what we've got going on under here. These are all new batteries and then new coils as well. So we're not gonna have to worry about that. We are gonna be upgrading this and making it faster, but uh, yeah, this is just what we got to start with. Our plans for remodeling this, what we're planning on doing, we're gonna redo it, make it cool, hang on to it for a little bit and sell it. I don't really think this is gonna be something we're gonna be into for a million years, but just a fun little project to do with friends. So this obvious uh, mark here, looks like it got hit a little bit. We've got some Bondo, we can easily fix over all of this. Um, there's a few marks here and there, nothing super crazy. We are going to be adding back seats. So that's really cool. That'll also bring up the value a lot. And then, uh, there's a small little like crack around here, a few small minor cracks here and there, nothing super crazy. And guys, this is the absolute best part about this golf cart. Hands down. We got the carbon fiber dash boys. What the heck? This is probably the only reason why I actually bought this thing is because it has carbon fiber dash. This also looks like it's a darker windshield. I'm not sure if this is actually tinted or not, but uh, it does look darker. All right, so now we're gonna go over our plans for this thing. First things first, we are gonna clean everything up. It's really dirty. It's got some cobwebs, some dirt, everything, all this grime and stuff. We're just gonna clean this all up. Then we're gonna take it apart a little bit put some Bondo, fix some of the scratches and bigger marks. Then we're gonna prime the whole thing. We're gonna, we're gonna probably do back seats, maybe last, maybe sometime in the middle, I don't know exactly how, but if we can get the back seats where you have a foot thing down here and the seats sit right here, that would be ideal. I think we're gonna paint it like a cherry red, get some black wheels and tires, paint the roof black, and then that cherry red will really make this carbon fiber pop and then maybe do something with the motor. I have no idea really how these electric motors work. So how, however we can make it faster, we're gonna do that, but that's gonna be more of a later thing. We gotta do a lot of the body work first. We're planning on this being a quick project, maybe only a few videos, and then we're gonna, you know, just have fun with it and enjoy it. It's only cost us $1,600, which is pretty decent for a golf cart, but we've got some work to put into it. And honestly, it's just a fun project. We're eager to get going. First things first, we're gonna unbolt the, uh, roof here and everything this is only like six bolts to take this thing off we're gonna take that off and start cleaning this uh clean the whole thing wash everything zach is taking apart the you, you have to take off this dash we're gonna take this panel off uh clean it and then see what we can do about bondo um we don't have the biggest time frame in the world so uh if we can get that bondo and stuff done as soon as possible because that needs time to dry and we got to sand it that's kind of a long process so uh getting that stuff done will really speed this process along i'm gonna work on taking the top off uh looks like the previous owner tried to paint this but that's not gonna be too big of a deal since we just have to uh we're gonna prime it and paint over it anyways but yeah we're gonna get started All right, guys, so we actually got a lot done in very, very minimal time. So I'm gonna show you guys where we're at right now. Uh, fronts off the golf cart. We got a clean inside here. Looks like a lot of dirt and crap got kicked up in there. Uh, obviously, the dash is out so that we can take that front bumper off. This is the dash out here. This carbon fiber, guys, this is like the coolest thing ever. I swear to God, if this thing didn't have the carbon fiber dash, I wouldn't have bought it. They're working uh, in here a little bit right now. We took a uh, whole roof off and everything. Um, this is the front bumper. This is that area we've got to fix. And then I think like there's a few minor spots like right over here. Just stuff we're gonna clean up a little bit. Uh, roofs off, all disassembled, everything is clean, clean. Um, there are some like marks on the top here. I don't know how that happened. So we're gonna get all that cleaned up. Our next step is going to be, I've gotta clean up this bumper and then uh, we're gonna work on cleaning the cart as a whole. And then after we clean all the, the whole cart off, then we're gonna jump into sanding. So this process is actually kind of moving along decently, but you know, I say that with a grain of salt. As soon as I say that, obviously something's gonna go wrong. So that's our process right now. All right, so I'm giving you guys a second update here. Um, well, one, I changed clothing because pink shorts and sparries wasn't exactly fix things attire. But um, we're gonna look down here. This right here is the motor. 
and it's actually pretty big. But um, how this thing works, to my understanding, is you have your three batteries, your source of power. This all goes through the coils, which are basically just right re uh, regulating the power. That goes straight into the motor, which is under here, and then that just pushes this axle and it's rear wheel drive. So yeah, that's about it. Now we're gonna clean this portion up and on the sanding. boys body is completely off so we're just down to the shell boys time to clean all this up this is really dirty in here we're gonna clean everything here and then uh yeah boys i'm excited this is coming along pretty well had a couple problems but uh nothing we couldn't work through so right now guys mike is uh sanding all of that down we just want to get it uh nice and like uh, get all the shiny crap off so we can apply primer to it properly i'm working on getting all this little stuff like these pinstripes this crap here um, some of these stickers and everything off. I'm just using a razor blade to get everything off here. Hopefully we can start priming the plastic, at least the roof tonight. I want to prime that. And then, uh, if we can start working with, uh, fixing some of the cracks and dents, that would be perfect because that stuff needs to set and dry. So we need to like, we need time to do that. So if we can get going on that as soon as possible, that's the goal here. We're only about like maybe two hours into this project right now. So not bad for two hours. We did have a, we had a strip bolt. We had to drill out right there. Um, this thing's kind of old. Like I said, it's an 87. So I'm sorry, an 84. So like, yeah, these rusty bolts have been here for a while. We got to change all those out. But uh, yeah, she's coming along. I'm getting excited. Update time. So I took apart the seats and everything here. This is the back of the seat that goes like that. We're gonna clean this up. This is like moldy and disgusting. Clean this up and uh, get it ready. We're just gonna paint that black, make it look all nice. Um, this is also parts of the seat. We finished up the roof and um, we gotta wipe this down and then we might prime this tonight, probably. Mike is getting going on the bumper. That's the actual fiberglass part. He's gonna sand that down so we can get started on the um, Bondo. This, we cleaned this all up. This is like the actual body itself. I still have to uh, get all this crap off with the um, razor, but I'm gonna do that after I clean up these seats and get these ready. We're getting lots done boys and I see no reason to stop right now. So here's our progress. We um, put a bunch of Bondo on this area right here. This has got to dry. That was our big main concern with the entire body work was that big crack. It's right in the front. It's right there. So that was a huge one. These are ready. I just have to set up painting. If we can start priming this right now, that would be ideal. <laughs> I ran out of primer while I was just finishing this up. There's two coats on the underside of all of this and then one coat on everything here. I, I got a little bit there to fix up, as you can see. Take a look at the Bondo job that Mike did on the front end here. Do you guys remember what it did, what it looked like before? Slightly mock it up, kind of. Like, this is kind of what it's gonna look like on the front here. That was our biggest structural issue was this giant hole in the front. Gotta pick up some like netting so we can mold out some stuff around here, around the edges where there's like nothing to actually, like no crack to hold it to. But we're gonna fix a lot of that stuff. We put in a lot of, lot of work today. Update. Here's where we're at. Um, the top of the roof and these uh, the backings to those seats. We have two coats on everything here. Um, this kind of looks a little spotty. We're, we're in the shade, but it also looks kind of spotty. Wheels or hubcaps, I guess. They look pretty good. I'm going to go over them probably one more time, just a little bit, make them nice and clean. Those look really well. That black's going to look really nice with the red. Going over here, we have a few more spots of Bondo to do on this back frame here. We're waiting for this to dry, and then I think we have uh, one spot on the flip side of this. This we're also waiting to dry. We have to sand down this corner 
corner and then this is going into the primer stage and then I also sprayed the uh, inside of these wheels here just so you weren't getting that white shining through the uh, black so that's gonna look a lot cleaner um, and yeah we're moving along one of our big goals today here is to get a lot of the painting and body work done today is the majority a body work day we have a few main situations that we're gonna have to figure out first being our ignition problem um, we don't have an ignition switch at the moment it's through a toggle uh, like just a regular toggle switch that's our situation with that right now um, we have the back seats we got to figure something out like that uh, I really don't want to spend $300 on this or on brand new back seats but um, we'll do that if we have to we're gonna have to put everything together and then we have some things we want to do to make it cool and uh, we still want to see if we can make it faster Mike is finishing up that body panel which is the front bumper and then that's gonna go off the primer right now All right, boys, we took a quick break. We got some food, but now we are back at it. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an update and show you everything that we've been doing and what's going on here. So we're painting a few random things that are, are black and stuff like that. These are the rims. They're completely done and clear coated everything. Those are going to look really nice on the car with that red. Um, this is the back section, the majority of the fiberglass. This is on its second coat of primer. We've been doing three coats of primer. We'll probably end up doing three coats of regular paint. So uh, this is coming along very, very nicely. Um, as you can see, the part that Zach's working on, that was the, uh, green part, so looks much, much better. Over here, Mike is working on the first coat of red on the front bumper. So, this thing is gonna look really, really nice, and, like, right here, that is where that, uh, giant hole was. So, as you can see, like, it's, it's perfect right now. So, this stuff right here, which is the roof right there, that's the bottom flipped up. We still need to paint the bottom of that black that's primer on there right now. And then, this is just some miscellaneous, uh, seat pieces. Those we gotta paint black as well. But, it's coming along very, very nicely. After this is done black completely, we gotta do a clear coat on everything. But, our main goal today is just to get most of the painting and body stuff done. I wanna show you guys some of the different colors we have on this cart. And, uh, I think it's gonna look really, really cool. I know you guys are gonna love it. So, this is kind of our color situation here. We got the black rims, gloss black, carbon fiber dash, and then the red paint. This thing's gonna look absolutely beautiful. That's two coats. We still gotta do one more of that. We're gonna put a gloss coat over it. And then, we're gonna let everything curate and dry and everything. But, um... Yeah, this thing's coming along. I'm getting really, really excited. This is the body. Uh, we've got two coats on that. We're going to do a third in a little bit. And uh, we decided to paint all of this, like, aluminum stuff black. I think that'll look really nice and kind of give it, like, an overall clean look. So that's going to be our next step. We're going to get going on that right now. <sighs> What's up, guys? future Caleb here. So at this point in the video, things started to go south. We finished up all of the body work, everything looked really, really good, and as we were putting things together, we noticed we had some mechanical problems that were starting to emerge. Uh, first, the cart was not holding a charge, it was uh, driving extremely slow, and then eventually it wasn't driving at all. We tried to troubleshoot a few things, and then um, unfortunately this came after all the body work was done. Uh, this was our final result with the cart, it actually looked really really good. Everything body wise, paint wise, everything did look pretty good for uh, our first project and for, for what we were doing. But we came to the conclusion that we should probably find a, find an expert. We ended up taking this to a uh, golf cart mechanic a couple miles down the road, and uh, basically the cart was gonna cost us too much to fix in parts, labor, and uh, personal knowledge that we just didn't have enough to fix it, and we decided to get out of the project. We came to find out that the batteries that were in there were the incorrect batteries from the previous owner. The previous owner told us that everything uh, ran and drove smoothly and it, and it had a bunch of new parts. I'm not sure if it just happened to break once we got it or maybe we just got someone's uh, hacked up project that they just threw together and tried to get rid of. Uh, I'm not really sure what exactly happened, but uh, basically the controller is potentially uh, not working. The coils, it looks like those coils were burnt and then the batteries that were in there were actually incorrect for a golf cart which I was unaware of. Um, we made this purchase without a whole lot of knowledge, which I completely take the blame for that. I'm sure you guys will remind me of that in the comments and roast me for it, but I still did want to kind of share my experience with it. I want to share not just only my successes, but my failures, which is what this is. Moving forward, uh, I definitely am happy I still did the project. I learned a whole lot, uh, even just from like body work and stuff like that. I've never done any of that before, so it was cool to learn a lot of that. At this point in time, we're planning on liquidating the golf cart. It is up for sale. Uh, sold as a non-working golf cart, trying to explain everything that we know about it. Uh, I'm trying to get out of the golf cart if I can. 
Um, if I can't sell it for close to what I have into it, uh, I don't wanna take a major loss on this. If that is the case and I just cannot sell it for whatever reason, I will end up converting it to a gas golf cart, you know, get rid of all that electric and throw in like a Predator motor or something like that. But for now, uh, the golf cart is on hold and uh, it is up for sale. If that's something that I can make happen, I'll, I would prefer to sell it, just get out of it and get into something new. But we've been pretty successful with a lot of different projects and things we've been doing on this channel. So, uh, I mean, you, you can't win them all but I still wanted to share this experience with you guys. So I wanted to thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you stick around, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.